welcome to my channel electronics on wheels now, thank you for your support so i was going through the comment section and i got one comment from mangesh that please provide the previous video link in the description which are linked to the video information so i will do that one thank you for your comments and thank you for your appreciation as well coming to the second comment that arti more has given that can you please share the how to select the fuse relay terminal wire connector with practical example so i will do that one i will make one series that how to select all these fuse relay terminal with practical example so definitely i am going to give uh, this series then coming to the one uh, comments from the siva function of relay type of relay battery charging system of vehicle and basic power distribution system in vehicle so for that also i am going to uh, uh, give the video for that particular uh, topics as well but if you see there is a one common topic which is asked by both arthi more and Uh, siva so that is relay so today i am going to give you the basic overview of the relay and how it works one interesting topic which siva has mentioned that is basic power distribution in the vehicle so if you like this particular topic and you want to know that basic power distribution system is required to know so please comment in the comment box if 50 comments come on this basic power distribution system that yes we need this power distribution system how it happens in a vehicle so definitely i am going to give you the overview of this basic power distribution in a vehicle that how to select the fuse box what are the fuses what type of fuse you have to select then what are type of relay micro maxi mini relay so all these things i am going to explain in this power distribution system in a vehicle so let's move to the topic of today's that is relay so what are the topics i am going to cover in this relay so first topic would be the what is the relay then reason of using the relay construction and operation how they work exactly what are the tap terminology they use then numbering convention you might have heard 85 86 then terminal layout what are the terminal sizing for those relay then body marking what are the body marking on this and configuration and types of relay which is micro relay mini relay and what are the condition on which we use the micro and mini relay with a practical example in the last i will give you so in today's class i will tell you some three topics what is the relay reason of using the relay construction and operation i will try to finish it if time permits so i will try to make it uh, in 10 minutes if it is possible then i will cover the construction and operation as well in detail so let's start with what is the relay so everyone knows that what is the relay so relay is something that is switch that is operated electrically rather than mechanically so what does it mean the what is the meaning of this line electrically rather than mechanically so mechanical switch you all already have seen in your houses so you have this type of switch in everyone's house right so where we control our lighting system that you have this particular power line and then this is your switch and then you control mechanically here there is a manual intervention is required to switch on or off this particular light okay make or break to that particular connection you need this switch to be operated manually then what is the meaning of electrically you have seen two terms here one is electrically and mechanically mechanically is nothing but the switch which we are using that is manually we are operating then electrically switching what does it mean so electrically switching means that particular manual intervention will not be there so okay i'll give you one example then you will understand that this is my relay the actual relay is comes like this this is a five pole relay we will see in detail what are the four pole relay what is the five pole relay and how they works we will discuss this particular point in detail but as of now we will try to understand what is meaning of electrical relay so this is the figure of relay where you have the coil and one side is the load so this is the coil side and this is our load side so here whatever load you want to operate from this side then you can attach that particular load in this side and this is our coil which is going to control your switching okay so how it basically control your switching that this is the coil and this is the magnetic coil which produce the magnetic field and due to the operation of hinge this particular switch will on and off and your load will also on and off so here you can see that this particular load is on and off happening due to this relay coil here there is no manually intervention is there to switch on and switch off this particular load i hope you got the understanding for this what is meaning of electrically and mechanically we will see one practical example also so this is one 
coil and this is our contact part so there are two parts in the relay one is coil and other one is the contact part so if you see here i'll just show you that how it works exactly try to play this video and you will understand how this particular coil will operating this particular contact so if you see here on the this side that this we are trying to just make this connection from one is positive side and other one is negative side and here this magnetic flux will increase and then this particular hinge is connected to this contact and this particular hinge will move inward and outward then you will see if you see here you see this connection is making once this current is flowing through this you can see here so this is till the time it is operating then it is making the contact otherwise it is open so i hope you understand what this particular coil does with this circuit so this was our coil part this one and this is my contact part that is load side so i hope you understand what does it mean and how it is operating but one one thing you have observed that this particular to operate this coil itself you need this negative side to be touched here and this is the control input which is required to operate this load then you might be having one question when i required that particular intervention or particular control input then why i am operating through this control input to this particular load because already i was able to switch on and off by this particular switch itself why i am going with these two switches which is unnecessary right so here also i i will try to make you understand this is my contact open this is my load side this is what suppose uh, i am putting one bulb or something then this is my power side this is your contact switch and this is your iron core with the magnetic flux this is the coil part but here also you see that this is showing like control switch and control switch is nothing but which we were giving here in this video you might have seen once we were touching this thing then only it was operating on and off it is making or breaking the contact so you might be thinking that what is the point of giving all these things when i am able to make or break the particular load connection from this single switch here it is like two switches right so we will understand this thing why it is required and what is the use of this relay and what are the possible things where we should use this relay i hope you got my point what is the switch and what is the relay but in relay you might be having the control input you should have the control input otherwise your coil will not be energized and if coil is not energizing then your load side will not work i hope you got my point let's move to the point which we discussed that is reason of using a relay so why i am using all this relay and i will take one simple example which i have already shown you in one starting system that how our starting system works and we are using that relay there so always relay marking here i am just telling you that 30 and 87 would be on load side this is my load side and coil side would be 85 and 86 so if you see that 87 and 30 is connected to the load and through the starter motor this is my starter motor and i already told you that the starter motor having the very high current and this particular wire size would also be around 6 mm square or 8 mm square depending on the current or the motor capacity which you are using but it would be always higher than this as i already told you so we will see the reason of using a relay why i am using this relay so first reason is switching a high current circuit using a lower current circuit so what does it mean suppose existing circuit does not have the capacity to handle that much current suppose here my current is rush current is 200 ampere or 100 ampere or 300 ampere in that condition i can not put a simple switch if i am putting that simple switch what will happen that when you are making the contact there is a chances of arcing and which arcing can damage your circuit or which can make uh, make that particular whole circuit burn or damage so that is the one reason when you have the situation where you have to control the highest current circuit using a lower current circuit so here suppose you have you, here if you see the current would be 
0.5 or 0.7 ampere only but if you see in this condition the current would be more more higher this is the current which is inverse current this is not the continuous current but even continuous current i am saying it would be like 60 ampere or 70 ampere it depends on the starter motor capacity which starter motor you are using 2 kilowatt 2.5 kilowatt or 3 kilowatt it depends on that so this is the first reason and main reason why i have to use the uh, why i have to use the relay in the condition where you have the high current circuit and you want to control with the lower current circuit so high power light capacity to be handled the current required so someone was asking in my uh, comment section that um, you please tell us the interview question so interview question will become from here only so there will be a, again one question will come that can you operate any headlamp or any circuit without relay or not when you need the high current uh, switching so answer is yes or no right both yes is yes is also there and no is also there no why no because if you are using then whatever condition i have told you like arcing will happen arcing will can damage your circuits and the whole wiring harness second thing yes is also there yes why yes you can control without relay also or without this because if suppose you want to control the higher current okay then you have to develop the switches which can have the capacity of higher current okay for that what will happen your cost will be increased so the answer is yes and no both but you have to understand that what is the uh, what is the point when you are not uh, you know selecting the no and what what is the point when you are selecting the yes yes you can say that okay we can switch our circuits without the relay as well but what will happen you have to develop the uh, the switches which can handle the higher current and it should not produce the arcing as well so this is the second point which says that cost effective the second reason of using the relay first reason switching of high current circuit using the lower current then second question, uh, answer of this the cost effective when high current capacity wiring and switches cost more than the lower current capacity so suppose if you are passing your high current through the wire then you have to take the wire csa also more if you are using lower current capacity version then your csa will also be lower side csa means cross section of that particular wire so i hope you understand what is the uh, uh, effect on the cost when you are using the relay and when you are using the normal switches use of relay reduces reduces the more expensive component in the vehicle so as i told you if you want to use the only that particular switch which can handle the high current circuit then you of course the expensive components need to be used in the vehicle so that is the one drawback if you are not using the relay in the circuit now we erase this first is switching a high current circuit using lower uh, current circuit then second is cost effective then third is actuating more than one circuit from a single input so suppose you want to give one logic and you want to operate that particular load only that condition so i have given you already one example of starter starting system where you have this relay and this relay is actuating our starter motor or starting our starter motor but there are condition so suppose what is the condition that your clutch switch should be pressed if your clutch switch should be pressed then only this particular uh this particular contact should be connect here so when when you have normal type of switch you cannot give this type of condition okay so that's why uh, the condition where you want to give some type of logical function some type of uh, you know you want to control the one circuit from a uh, you know more than one circuit from the single input then also this type example which i have given that suppose if your vehicle is in neutral state only then you can start your vehicle so this type of particular conditions you can not give in the uh, normal switch or you have to use the number of switches to give this type of condition in this uh, uh, you know condition that uh, you have to uh, on the um, start the starting motor performing the logic functions so flasher relay is the one example where you, which is used to flashing the left and rear lights and where you are performing some logical function on that as well 
so these are the condition where you have to use the relay so these are the four condition which i have given you mainly switching a high current circuit using a lower current then cost effective then actuating more than one circuit from a single input then performing logical function which i have told you that you have some condition where you want to switch your circuit in that particular condition then only it should switch on or switch off that particular function so these are the some reason which you have to understand when you are using the relay then moving to the next thing that is construction and operation so as i already told you this is the relay sorry this is the relay where you have the coil part and this is our contact side so actual relay would look, be look like this then this is your housing then these are your terminals so i will ask you one question in this also that terminal you can see the terminal geometry is very different if you see here it is like this but here in this it is like this so we will understand why they make this type of geometry as well so this is my coil which energize the magnetic field energize and then this is your hinge which makes and break the contact here in this relay so these are the particular naming of this relay point like this is your movable uh, movable terminal then these are the terminals which we are showing here these are the fixed terminal this is the fixed contact then moving contacts here you can see then this is coming on coil part then hinge spring then armature then this is the particular case spool then iron core then this is your coil and yoke as well then card here then these are the coil terminal and the this is your base these are the coil terminal and these are the contact terminal so i told you these uh, there are two things one is coil terminal coil side which is the controlling side controlling side and one is the load terminal load terminal where your load are controlled okay this video i will give you the detailed construction and operation of this relay that how this coil and relay are actuating with uh, by this magnetic field uh, in a detailed way some components till then terminal what does it mean and this is your normal relay where you have this this terminal this is four pole terminal so suppose if this marking is not there are you able to find out the what are the load terminals and what are the relay side coil side terminals so as you can see that i already told you that coil side coil side that current would be very less then your terminal will geometry would be also different and load side that current is different current is on higher side then this terminal will also be different this is your housing if you can see here that this relay will be fixed in this housing and these wires then will be controlled or will be connected from the other devices like switches and other side the motor so you can see there are two wires uh, which are small in the cross section and two wires which are on the uh, higher higher cross section so those higher cross section those are connecting to the load and the wire which are on the um, lower csa that is connected your coil so there is a reason of making this type of geometry for the uh, terminals so these terminals always are the load side terminals and you can see this this terminal geometry is also opposite this is coming like this and this is going in a horizontal way i will tell you the reason also that why they keep like this so this is all about uh, the relay uh, we have discussed about what is relay what are the reasons to use the relay then construction and operation i will describe some more thing in this that how this uh, pulling of the contact is happening due to the magnetic flux and magnetic field so please like subscribe and comment